and we're going to discuss the Hale or Hales coat of arms. But before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer genealogy research service at our website. Please visit us at coadb.com. First coat of arms to discuss, shown here, belonged to Sir James Hales, born in the year 1500, or around the year 1500 of Kent. He was an English judge, the son of John Hales, and appointed Baron of the Exchequer around the year 1522, and was Lord of the Manor called the Dungeon at Canterbury. Here we see Sir James. There was also Sir Edward Hales, born 1576. He was awarded the Hales Baronetcy of Woodchurch and Tunstall in the County of Kent in 1611 and Member of Parliament for Hastings, High Sheriff of Kent, son of William Hales of Tenterden. And the third baronet, Sir Edward Hales, born 1645, shown here, was admitted to the rank of Colonel of a Foot Regiment at Hackington in County Kent and purchased the manor of Hales Place near Canterbury, and was a member of Parliament. And there was also Sir Robert Hales, born around the year 1610. He was awarded the Beakesbourne Baronetcy of Kent in 1660. He was a member of Parliament, lawyer, admitted to the Inner Temple, the son of Thomas Hales of Beakesbourne, and the second baronet acquired the estate of Brymore in Somerset through his marriage with Mary Pym. And here we see... I believe Frances Hales, a daughter of this family. A list of the Hales baronets of Woodchurch and Tunstall in Kent, all the way to the sixth baronet who died in 1829. List of the baronets of Beakesbourne, Kent, all the way through the fifth baronet, Sir Philip Hales, who died in 1824. Finally, next on to the second coat of arms, very similar, different crest. Belonging to Sir John Hales, born around the year 1646, he was awarded the Hales Baronetcy of Coventry in the county of Warwick in 1660. He graduated from Oxford and was the son of Christopher Hales of Whitefriars and the grandson of John Hales. And we know he was succeeded by his son, Sir Christopher Hales. Here we have a list of the Hales of Coventry, the baronets, all the way through the 8th baronet, Sir Christopher Hales, who died in 1806. Here we see the likeness of the family estate, known as Hales Place, near Canterbury. One from Holt County, Norfolk, quartered with Turner and Baisley. James Tukey Hales, born in the year 1811, was the son of James Hales and Barbara Baisley. His father was the son of Robert. His father was the son of Robert Hales or he was the son of Robert Hales, who died in 1780, collector of customs of King's Lynn and his wife, Ann Turner. He was described as a somewhat eccentric person who did much for his parishioners, whom he ruled with an iron rod. Another granted around the year 1850 to Edward Hales, Esquire of North Frith in Hadlow in County Kent, a breeder of cows, Granted to William Hale Hale, born 1795, Venerable Archdeacon of Hale of London and Canon of St. Paul's, son of John Hale, a surgeon of Lynn in Norfolk, England. Another for the Hales or Halls of Devonshire, uh, Halls of, Kenen, of Kendon in the parish of Sherford, Devonshire. Of this family was John Hales, born around the year 1400. He was the Bishop of Coventry and Lichfield the second son of John Hales of Canendon, a justice of the common pleas and a justice of the king's bench, the grandson of John Hals of Levant Cornwall. And there were also several Richard Halses of this locale who lived in the 15th and 16th centuries. Another for Mervyn Hales, who flourished around the year 1623 of High Church in County Somerset, the son of John Hales and the grandson of Edward Hales, the great-grandson of John Hales of High Church, and the great-great-grandson of Richard Hales. Also, Sir Stephen D. Hales, born around the year 1330, member of Parliament for Norfolk, Sheriff of Norfolk and Suffolk. He saw much active service in the wars with France and was the son of William Hales of Testerton. Another from King's Walden, Hertfordshire, 
There was one William Hale, born around the year 1632, of King's Walden, a member of Parliament, son of Roland Hale of the same locale, and grandson of William Hale, Esquire, Sheriff of Hertfordshire, and the great-grandson of Richard Hale, born around the year 1536, a London grocer who bought the manor of King's Walden in 1567, 76. Granted to Joseph Eaton Hale, Esquire of Somerton Hall, County Suffolk, born around the year 1790, son of Joseph Hale, died 1827, who was thought to be from Bulmer County, Essex. Similar to the arms of Roger Hales, or Haley's, born around the year 1274 of Norwich, who held several manors in Loddon, Rufton, and Metton. Thomas Hale, this was found in a book called Two Tudor Books of Arms in the 16th century or older, Arjun of Grail Vert. Granted, in 1661 to Matthew Hale, born 1609 of Alderley in County Gloucester, Lord Chief Baron of the Exchequer, the son of Robert Hale, Barrister of Lincoln's Inn. Here we see Matthew Hale. Next, the arms of Sir Frank, Sir Frank Van Hale, or Halen, Knight of the Garter in the 14th century, the son of Frederick. One confirmed in February 1616. That's all we know about it. It's an interesting one, said to be from Hack Bendon in County Kent. I cannot find such a location. I believe that it's possibly a misspelling or perhaps a location that has been lost to history. One for County Staffordshire. And another, 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 and if you enjoyed this video, please visit us at coadb.com, link in the description. Thank you very much.